seem like people are out here pipping these animals to make money. No, you pipping yourself when you go to work if that's the case. It's the same thing, man. Oh, oh, shit. Hey, I just wanted to say that shit too. If I'm watching this, bro. Like, people tell her y'all should cut the dog game and shit. Hell no, bro. Whether it's a family dog, one dog, two dogs, in the house dogs, however, you got a dog. You got that dog from somebody who bred the dog. The dog had to get here some way, somehow. Some way, somehow. So don't try to downplay or don't try to down people for breeding dogs, right? But I would say to the people that is getting there, fam, do your homework, do your research. Research, but make sure you build up a solid platform before you jump into this game. Because the last thing you want to do is get pups and they not sell. Although that happens, man, don't be discouraged. Don't you know what I'm saying? And I too, like, try it, yeah, I understand. Like, I, like me, I'm not getting a dog to breed. Like, I'm getting a dog to live with us, to learn with us, take care of, teach. You know what I'm saying? And live a life. A normal dog life, I mean, have fun. And now that breeding shit, yeah, she might have puppies. My dog's only three months old, man. She's still a fucking baby, bro. You know what I'm saying? She's never damn near me old yet, but when I get puppies, I already know what to do because I'm so many people do it. And our life's not really, our, I'm going to tell you this too. Our content's not really on dog shit. Our shit's a vlog life. Life, a day in a day in a life of a twin and a dog. That's what it is. It's not like, I don't have a, I'm not a backdoor breeder. I'm not really like that, bro. I'm outside my fucking enjoy his life, walk his dog, and that's what I'm saying. I've worked at hotels almost my whole life, right? Engineering. Fam, I done seen seasons where ain't nobody in this hotel. And I'm talking about big hotels. I've always worked for either Marriott or Hyatt. I've never worked for no other hotel. Those are two of the biggest hotel chains in the world. In the world? In the world, Craig. Okay? And there's times where it's just slow. They lay people off, they send people home early, you only do a half a day because there ain't no money being generated in the hotel right now. So we don't have enough funds to pay everybody. So they close down certain sections of the hotel. We're not using these floors. Housekeepers, they, they cut back on everything, expenses, because it's a business. And business decisions have to be made. It's the same way with the dogs, family. And I'll do another video explaining to some people and showing y'all proof. Because I'm in the stock market. Me and Jamel, we get on the phone almost almost every day, but at least once a week for sure. We talk third about place, what stocks is popping, what stocks is not I'll popping, what this company me. did, what that company did. I think I think it was FedEx recently, fam. They closed down right, on, dozens of stores, fam, because it's just crazy. Minutes. But I don't want you to feel like it's minutes, only man. happening to you because you got dogs and they're not selling at the moment. Something my mentor always always told me that I hold true to this day. Fetty, you don't need ten people to buy one dog. At all. Only one person can buy one dog. So stop expecting for ten people to buy one dog, right? If you sold one pup, be happy, be thankful, you know what celebrate. I'm saying that like me and my brother, you only got one dog. That you was right, bro. Be happy, I just looked out on all my videos. I'm saying, bro, we were really doing this shit. Spend, and become a business out of this shit, bro. Like, everybody, everybody want to be like DDK and all that shit. Everybody want to be like that big dog breeders and shit. The dog people who are actually doing it. Like, we don't want to actually look. I look at the DDK more than anybody because he trains the dogs. He don't want to. He just want to make a dog and then sell it. He actually make a dog, build the dog, create the dog, train the dog, and then he'll sell it. Like, you feel me? Or he might keep it. You dig what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, people got to switch up from the old back in the day shit. Find ways to get on other platforms and expand. Find ways to grow your platforms that you are currently on. All of this is part of the process, man. Right. Right. And right. I've come to a realization that I'm in a space now where I need help. It's either I scale back or I find help. And I've decided to push forward and find help. So I prayed and I said, God, if you out there, I need help. Allow my help to find me. Not only with dogs, but as some of y'all know, I got a trucking company and I got a family, I got kids. You know, it's a lot of moving pieces, so right, yes, many need right, help. Right. So, the help will come, trust me. I already got confirmation that the help coming. Um, and also, fam, I'm working on a mentorship program for a lot of people out there that's... I ain't gonna lie. I, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna say and be like, yeah, I'm in for, I'm here by myself, I'm here to struggle and make it out. No, I'm really in here. I'm going to say this shit once, I'm going to say this shit twice. 
I really do need the help. You know what I'm saying? I really do. I feel like we really don't need it, but there's certain things that we are missing. Why? Because the neighbor, first of all, from one, my dog can do what she really wants to do, bro. Two, the training conditions, bro, is, is too much. For, it's, it's, it's too, I mean, it's too less of doing the training because of the reason why we're in this, I'm saying, rules to the shit. So I really want to get to a, a people's people's yard and people's people's backyard, like, you feel me, train. But, if y'all see this, man, let somebody know, you know what I'm saying, it's real life shit. Like, we all need help in the dog shit. Everybody not perfect, everybody not willing to take the man, man up and say, need help. Everybody needs help in some way, somehow. If you want to be a big dog and take full confidence and confess to what you do, then that's cool. I mean, I'm not saying I need help, but it's some certain things that I do need help into. You know what the deal? You dig what I'm saying? Real shit. What you mean mentor? I'm working on a mentorship program, fam. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody needs something. Everybody needs what they need. People can't get attitude. People need help. All of the details worked out, but I have a few of them worked out. So you know what I'm everybody don't know everything. I'm working to find something every day and get it to where I need it to be. Um, but it will be like two or three calls a month. So I'm working on that. I, I will have group sessions, and then I will also have something available for those of y'all who want to do private uh, mentorship. So I'm working on that, fam. So y'all bear with me, pray with me, the good Lord help me pull this through, and my help come help me. <laughs> but don't think that it's the end of the world, fam. Life. The world has phases that it goes through, seasons, right? You got up seasons, you got down. In the hotel industry, they call it flexing and flowing, right? When we're flexing, that means, hey, y'all, money tight right now. Don't spend no money. Only spend, I think, I, I, I can't remember it properly, but I think you, you spend 70% of your budget. And then if they say, hey, we're flowing, after you get the okay that we're flowing, flowing means we're good on money, right? We hit our numbers, we were above our numbers, we good, y'all can spend whatever y'all need. But you get a budget, 100% budget, right? You get this pie of how much money you can spend. And then they break it down. You got tools, you got cleaning supplies, you got plumbing, you got paint, you got uh, windows, you got pool supplies, you got HVAC supplies, you got... You get what I'm saying? Ooh, Long, and all of these, you know, different categories, they give you a certain amount of money you can spend in each category. Now, let's say you need to spend more money in going back to the dogs. You got dog food, which probably is going to be your biggest expense. Dog food, you got medicine, you got vet, you got uh, C-sections, you have, you know, labor costs, you have. You know, all of these different antibiotics, which may tie into medicine and stuff like that. Deworming medication, right? You have all these different categories. And that's something that, that I need. We talk about in the uh, also, it's something that my dog do have every month. She get a deworm every month. But I want to learn how to do it myself, so I keep spending money. For me, deworming and shit like that. But I don't want to get the wrong shit, so I'd rather turn to the vet. So that's what I'm saying. But in any way, however possible, a video will be made off of that shit. You know what I'm saying, like, if you go to the if you go to the dog store or anything, all the video will be made. So, I'm just saying, like, yeah, we don't need help, but I do need, I do, I do need a camera team. I need a fucking camera crew. There's someone out there in Pittsburgh that can help us camera crew people. Hit my DM. You know what I'm saying, hit my fucking DM, please.
your hair loud, we can put the chair at your barbershop, whatever it is that you do. Drive trucks, you want to keep that truck filled with freaks, and we'll continue to move. But understand that, fam, we human. Life is short. 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 Life don't let people stop you from doing what you do. Because what you do is what got you to this point. Doing what you do. You know what I'm saying? I said, too. What we got going on with me, my brother, and our dog, we got came so far, bro. Please, I'll take it. I'm not going to stop, bro. Like, y'all going to see the change. Y'all going to see, bro. Y'all going to see everything. Yeah, yeah, y'all can't see. Fuck that nigga's father. Oh, I was so tired, but I can't see the background of the real, real deal shit. Is why it's because of the neighborhood the environment that we're in right now. Now, yeah, we took to the park, but what we want to do is have her off the leash. But these motherfuckers bitch about having her on the leash, so it's like it's hard as shit. But wait till everything is said and done, bro. I promise you, wait till everything's said and done. I promise you, it's just gonna go hard. It's just gonna get hard. I'm telling y'all, I ain't gonna speak too much, but it, it's going to show, bro. The hard work. Yeah, yeah. So, not saying stop doing what you're doing, but you might have to do it. You might have to make some adjustments. You might have to pivot, you know. And that's all a part of growth, fam. Mm -hmm. That's called growth. Let me, let me learn this. I've never been at this place before in, in what I'm doing. I gotta, this is a new experience for me. I have to learn how to operate within this, you know, this area that the season that I'm in in my life. See my best one, bro. But once you make it through it, now you know, oh, that's okay. I made it through. You're going to appreciate the good side even more. And you're going to appreciate the bad side because you, you put in the work to get you through this tough time. So, again, don't let nobody take you down and tell you you're going the wrong way, you're doing it wrong. So now, if you were just money. doing it solely for the money, then yes. You know, you, I see you getting out. Man, this Trust. ain't for me. I'm out of here. But what I've learned is don't chase the money, fam. Chase your purpose. Chase the vision. And the money will chase you. Don't chase the money. So that's why I tell a lot of people, ain't nothing wrong with doing it for money. Right? If we get up every day and we go to work, I don't let nobody tell you. Oh, you got it? Fam, shut up. Get off my page. I don't care about that. Not to be rude, but it's the truth. I get up every day, go to work. Because... Bills gotta be paid. They ain't finna say my water bill. No, you're fine, Mr. Dave. You don't have to pay your water bill. You don't gotta pay your mortgage. You don't gotta pay your car note, your insurance. All of that stuff's gotta be paid. And if anything, the prices of these things has went up due to inflation. I don't know if y'all know, but groceries is shit. <laughs> so don't let nobody try to talk you out of your blessing. Don't let nobody try to talk you out of what you know that you should be doing, right? Um, so yeah, fam, I wanted to come on here and share that with y'all. It was on my spirit, and I felt like I needed to tell somebody that. So, again, keep going, fam. Keep praying, keep grinding, keep trying to figure it out. That's what we all trying to do. You know? We all trying, trying to figure, figure it out. Man. Man. Y'all see, I'm going to stop. Man, I keep going, bro. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. Let me say that again. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. So let's prepare properly. Proper preparation. Perform more preparation. So yeah, fam, I hope this helps somebody. Let me know. Yeah. Keep doing what you do. Yes, sir. Stay focused. Stay focused. Keep going. Keep grinding, baby. And it's gonna work out for you. Work out, man. Stay tuned, man. I hear that. Keep going. Mean your purpose. Mean your value. Be out this shit, bro. It's going to be like a, a monthly service. I don't know what it'll be yet, but once a month you'll pay it. Um, and if it's important to you, I see, yeah, I see each other. Reaction, man, the scenes, man. So, fam, I'm love you. Let me know if this down you again in the comments. Try to get down, G, bro. Man, I see it, man. And and stay tuned. And we out, baby. And we out, man. For sure. I'm really learning. Really watching things and studying the growth. Trying to paint. Struggling. Showing the growth and going through the pain, bro. God damn, I'm so fucking tired. But, yeah, man. Y'all tap in to Soldier Squad kill Kennels. Killer Kennels. You bullies, man. For sure. If that's something that y'all want to see, if that's something who I want I might want to collab with him later on in the future. But we got to pick. They got to make a bullies and shit. But I want to collab with Laura, YouTuber, dog, people and shit. But, you know what I mean? 
Y'all just stay tuned, man. Let's keep going, keep working. If y'all want a dog, take care of your dog, love your dog. You know what I'm saying? Train your dogs. Take notes on your dog, take notes on your and life, take notes on the struggle and everything, man. Everything play off how it play off, man. I'm out of here though. Last one, man. Shout out to everybody. We did it. Let's go.